Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I want to show you something seriously powerful, and this is, you know, it's seriously going to guide you on your journey, set you up, make sure you're prepared for what's to come with this bull cycle. Take a look at this. This is the Wall Street cheat sheet. They use it in the traditional stocks and shares, and it shows that, you know, things go in cycles. Before I go any further, if it's sounding interesting to you so far, please drop that like. Are you new? Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. You're not going to want to miss this, trust me. Before I do dive into this, I need to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. Please do your further research before you invest your money. That being said, let's focus on this because this is, again, this is used a lot in traditional stocks. And you can kindly use it as a cheat sheet for Bitcoin and any other crypto, you know, that you're going to invest in. And it shows cycles and they are repetitive, repetitive. They happen all the time. And it looks something like this. Now, it might not look at 100%, but it looks something like this. And we have phases. So the first phase that I would probably say is over here, uh, hope and disbelief. You know, you've got people that you know, they, they, they disbelieve at first and they have some hope. Uh, whichever way you want to start, doesn't matter which one you start. And then you have, you know, as time goes on, as prices go up, you see like optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria. Complacency is after, you know, had a massive drop, you know, just saying. And then right, you know, the, the, the price just collapses again. People are panicking. People sell at a loss, which is capitulation. People get angry and they wish they'd just sold at the top. Why am I showing you this? Because I, I want to really open your eyes to where we are today. Take a look at this. This was 2017's Bitcoin's cycle. And this is just my example to you as to the cycles that we have in the crypto space along with everything else and how it looks crazy similar to what I'm showing you here. You see it? It starts off low, comes up, euphoria comes, kicks in, bang, crashes down. This is a powerful, guys. I want to draw this on here with you because I want you to, I want to open your mind to it make us realize where you know this is 2017 and once we understand where we were in 2017 maybe we can understand where we are now in the future where we are today so my first one was hope and i believe hope was somewhere around here actually let's go a step further disbelief so we had disbelief people didn't want to believe that you know the market was going to go up and go crazy in 2017 and oh no it's going to crash again and then it went up they had a bit of hope right i'm not going to do them all just some of the main ones then we had euphoria. The market went crazy. Everybody was buying. They couldn't go. They couldn't stop. They're thinking, "Oh my God, this is going crazy. It's going to the top. You know, Bitcoin's going to like sixty thousand, a hundred million, whatever you want to call it." It came right up here. Euphoric moment. People bought in at the top. They lost crazy money. If you're holding, great, because obviously you made more gains now. But a lot of people lost a lot of money because they bought in at the top. They was not paying attention to this as an example understanding that things happen in cycles and they look like this because i tell you what had you had seen this you probably wouldn't have bought at the top because or, or, at seeing this because you'd have looked at this you'd have looked at the bitcoin chart and said to yourself nah this looks like euphoria i need to take a second and breathe here it might collapse on my damn face <laughs> i'm just saying after euphoria you have again i'm just showing you the main important ones complacency so it falls down comes back up again makes you feel like oh okay and just to show you what complacency says uh, we just need to call off for the next rally so people believe that it's coming up again for our next rally and again this is 2017 2018 and i'm going to show you where we are in the moment okay just want to make you understand that these cycles happen all the time and it's mad to think that this has been out for years years and years and years and now you can see it in the bitcoin pattern absolutely crazy <clears throat> next one capitulation somewhere around here back in 2018 you know crypto re you know people were capitulation uh, capitulating selling at a loss and let's see what capitulation says here i'm getting 100 percent out of the markets i can't afford to lose anymore now again not something to laugh at just it happens and this is the reason i'm bringing this to you is because i really want you to be prepared seriously guys be prepared for what's to come and you know if you're a patron of mine you're seeing this first and make sure you see this stuff first it's important if you don't want to miss these things and be prepared become a patron i've got seven tiers take your pick i recommend my exclusive vip uh, partner tier they do different things just real quick i want to show you uh, i recommend this one here what i've highlighted in blue because it gives you my uh posts you can see when i buy when i sell when i stake it unlocks the whole lot for you just click on the post check them out okay if you want a little bit more go for my ceo partner tier you can't see it my fat african head's in the way 
super alerts it will give you access to my vip telegram group it might be for you where i talk to you way before i buy way before i sell way before i do anything it's all in there and you've got high crypto profile users in this space big money talking about big projects let's go back so after complacency you've got capitulation what's after capitulation guys it's anger people get angry and this is where you seriously lose a lot of money and the reason I'm, I think I think it's important that we draw this out is because I want you to realize that we've had a crazy run up, and what you know in the past we're having it again. Where are we right now in the market? That's the real question. Where where do you think we are? When you look at this chart in 2017, 2018, I'm going to show you now, uh, and then you look at this one. Where do you think we are now? Let's take a look forward because I tell you what. We've had, and this is, you've got two types of scales. You've got the logarithmic uh, scale, and you can click on this log and turn it off, right? And I've turned it off because you can see it very clearly. Look forward, look, look at where we are. When you, you don't realize how much of, run, of a run-up we've had. Look at how, look at how massive of a run-up we've had with Bitcoin already. Absolutely massive. So I'm going to shrink this. I'm going to shrink it real quick. I want you to seriously figure out where we are. And you can use this uh, yourself. You can come on TradingView, tradingview.com, get it up. Again, once you've got it up and signed up, it's free, you don't pay anything. Click on the Bitcoin, click over here, click on crypto, type in Bitcoin. I'm using the Bitstamp, you can see it here, Bitstamp, once you've got that, you know, you don't need anything else, don't need no indicators, nothing. Just set it to the weekly time frame, one week. And then you can do what I do. Make sure the logarithmic down here is turned off. And then you can see it. Where do you think we are now? Now, this is a this is a hard one for me because I've been trying to decide, like, are we near the top? Are we, you know, are we near the bottom? What are we seeing right now? Well, if down here was disbelief, you know, if somewhere down here was disbelief, let me see, sit down, I'll try and write it down here. Let's say down here was disbelief. Uh, I might spell it wrong. <laughs> I don't care if I do D E D I S B. I don't care. You understand? If somewhere around here was disbelief, we would have then come up here and had something called hope. Let me just. I'm just. I'm just trying to figure it out in my head, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. Somewhere around here would have been hope. <laughs> A joke. Uh, hope. Nope. Done too. Hope. And, and I think it's important we do this. Somewhere around here would have been hope. You had disbelief. Oh, <laughs> getting some hope now. It's coming up. Is this class is the euphoric moment? I don't know. Now, when I look at this. I have to, you know, because I've got, look, if, you, if I scroll down more, I've got a price target as to where I think the price is going to go, how high it could, you know, realistically go, which means there's actually a lot more room for Bitcoin to go up should it go there. And I explain why I believe it's going to come up here in a second. If you've seen my channel before, you understand why I think that. Uh, that means this area here, if you compare it to the other chart, you know, what we saw here, which it looks tiny, I think, and I might be wrong, please do not, uh, 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 you know, take what I say with full whatever just i'm just i might be wrong we could be here and the reason i think we could be here right is because after the hope we saw a massive run-up and look it doesn't look big on this time scale but it was big we had a massive run-up and then we saw a massive crash and then it run up again shot straight up with some crazy euphoria uh, euphoric moment right now if we are here Right, and I'm just giving you an example. What kind of percentage gain from here did Bitcoin go up in 2018 to get euphoria? Right at the top here, it went about uh, 163%. You can see it here, 163. If it went up 163%, is there room for Bitcoin to do another 163% from the prices that we see right now? I'm just curious, is there room? Well, let's see, because you know I've, I've got my marker up there. What would 163% look like? So from here to here, all the way up 163 what puts it just a bit above what I'm what I'm, where I believe that you know the top will be it really puts it 163 is about there so you'd be looking at a $163,000 price for bitcoin i don't think it's going to go that high i might be wrong you know but i just it's good to show you this as an insight as to what's happening this you know some people are saying is this the euphoric moment the reason this isn't euphoria and I would love to have called it euphoria, but the reason it isn't is because we saw a higher high. And because we saw a higher high, it means that there's still more room for Bitcoin to rise. Now, you know, where would the, I guess when it comes to capitulation and the anger, I'm going to have to draw that on another day once we've, or oh, <laughs> six months or whenever, when it decides to fall down. Uh, but this is what I'm doing right now, you know, focusing on this. 
let me show you how I got you know the, the tops of up here for those who don't watch my channel I use this log growth curves now it doesn't look great when you do it like this and this is why I have to turn the log on so when you turn the log on logarithmic growth curves it shows things from a different perspective and right now every time you look back in the past Bitcoin hit the top of this red line and I drawn it like a rainbow you can see green is like the middle line uh, red line is you know Bitcoin's always hit the top euphoria and if you look back again in the past look back in the last one 2013 2014 look hit the top right at the red so I believe that Bitcoin is gonna hit the top again let me just zoom it in a bit uh, I believe that Bitcoin's gonna at some point hit this top and people have been you know calling November to be a crazy month but we haven't seen it yet but you know it's, it's looking good but should it go absolutely crazy and come up here we could see prices of 134,000. If it takes longer, let's say it took January, I don't know, in January, it could come up to 150,000. But I'm, you know, I want to give you a realistic figure to work with. This is where I'm looking at my targets. If this is the top, then I will be calling this euphoria right here. <laughs> and I'm spell it right. E U P H O R I A. I think it's like that euphoria. If I'm wrong, I don't care. You understand. <laughs> uh, but this is where I would class euphoria. And then after that, then we're going to have to look at where complacency is. You know, we're going to see a big drop. Might come back up again. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm looking euphoria to be in this one. Uh, but I just thought I'd share it with you because, you know, people don't pay attention to this stuff much. And this is a powerful, powerful tool. It's a powerful chart you can use. Keep your eye on this. If you want to find this, just Google. Google uh, Wall Street Cheat Sheet. <laughs> Double tongue twist. Wall Street Cheat Sheet. Use it. Google it. And look at the charts yourself because, you know, we can see what's happening. And again, I don't know if we're going to be where this little circle is. I don't know if that's what we're facing right now. Could be. Time will tell as time goes on. But if it is, you know, we've come come above the green. Uh, we haven't got long till it gets to the top. So, you know, we could get to the top relatively fast. But time's going to tell. I'm going to just sit back and see what happens. But I just want to share that with you my input on the, the market how it's looking right now i'm gonna do this with the altcoins as well just the total altcoin market cap see what it looked like when we had and where we are because you know i've got i've got charts for the altcoins as well i don't even know if i've got it up let me see uh no i haven't got it up i'll have to update you with that one on another time but i just thought i'd share this with you super quick super simple just open your mind to something that many people maybe might not showing you if this was helpful to you, uh, you in some shape or form please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching are you new let me know uh and yeah become a patron if you want to so i'm gonna leave it here thank you all for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers